Hello everyone, today I want to show you uh, the dash cam viewer feature of Stats app. Um, first of all, I need to connect my USB drive. This is the black part. This is the, the part that goes to the card with the USB um, jack. And this is an adapter, it's about $9 um, that you can find on Amazon. Then the, there are links uh, in the settings, in the FAQ inside the app for a couple of adapters like this on Amazon. There are tons of them. Um, this is the SD card. This is the adapter that converts um, SD card to USB. And this is the adapter from USB to Lightning. All right, so let's get to the part that... All right, so we go to the Settings tab. Under Settings tab, under Tools, there are a bunch of choices here. Today we'll talk about view dash cam videos option. You tap on this, it will ask you to, uh, to find the Tesla cam folder on your USB drive and then just tap on that and then that's it. You do this only once at the setup. If you have done this before, it'll, it won't ask you to do this again because it remembers. Say OK and Here's a Tesla cam folder. I just tap on this, and then I won't tap on any of these things. I just tap on done. Depending on how much video you have stored on your USB drive, it, take a, it will take a few seconds for it to scan the folders and come up with the list of all the videos. It doesn't actually copy all the videos. That would have taken forever. Um, so here, first of all, on top you see left right front videos once i play you also see the uh, back video here you see the address at which this video was taken and if i tap on the address it brings up a map that shows uh, that address on the map if i tap on play obviously we'll start playing um, so this is a boring video because it's a central video let's pause this and let's go to saved clips folder where we have, hopefully this is moving. So uh, play on play, All right? Here I can scrub, go back and forth and it's very smooth. All right, we can go to the next clip, previous clip, or go to the events if it's century Typically, you see like 10 videos. If I tap on go to events, it will go to the event that triggered the sentry capture. This is in the saved clip. It's not the sentry, so it wouldn't apply. Um, you can export all the videos or the video clip that you're looking at rather. While it's playing, if I double tap on a video, it makes it full screen. And then you can go back to where they were before. These are the dates associated with the video. These are the times. And that's it. Um, when you save the video, it actually creates a video. It creates a single video that has all these four clips as shown here in a single clip, which is useful if you want to ship it to your insurance company if you ever get into an accident. I actually have done that and it was helpful in uh, the insurance company recognizing that it wasn't my fault. Uh, and that's it. You tap on this to exit and go to where you were before inside the app. Hope you like this video. Uh, there'll be more videos like this to come. Um, talk to you soon. Bye.